so many infinite possibilities in it. through aisles and aisles. The mm. hardest part of the bus. Our stomach feels like a fat harder than I thought it would be. Definitely yeah. could eat. Get a snack. What the fuck am I doing? Oh, I haven't eaten in a while. And then it just goes to the limits of my discipline. I can't be eating. It's the start of day one. It's now 8.40 in the morning. So, why on earth would anyone intentionally starve themselves for three whole days? On first inspection, the idea seems tantamount to insanity. However, upon further exploration, one will discover that there are three very meaningful reasons as to why the ancient and counterintuitive practice of fasting is gaining traction. These three things are the focus of this video. I would normally be eating breakfast right now. Obviously that's not gonna happen. Last time I did a fast, I was literally just on my phone in my bed watching YouTube videos of people making food. Which I never normally do, like I'm not really a food focused kind of person. My plan for this video is kind of to make the whole video as I'm fasting. So I've got my notes and stuff here that I'm doing at the moment. So I had the first pangs of hunger, but you know, copable. I'm gonna to head to the gym in about half an hour. So I'll be interested to see whether my energy kind of suffers. Oh, yeah, you done one, haven't you? <laughs> so to begin, the foremost reason I decided to undertake a fast is for health. Modern life is not how it used to be. We no longer have to hunt for our dinner. Gone are the days of stalking prey for hours on end, only to return home to your family empty handed. Once upon a time, fasting wasn't a choice. It was necessity. Those who couldn't do without food didn't last. Nowadays, life's pretty easy. You want food, you've got it. We no longer compete for food. Instead, food competes for us, for our consumption. We carry archaic attitudes towards food in a civilized world, and our bodies pay the price. My mind is telling me, eat. Tomorrow, we might get nothing. But tomorrow's meal is already sitting in the fridge. But the country is facing a dangerous weight problem. We're fat, lazy gluttons, and we're designed to be. So how do we reduce our waistlines and return to a healthier state? Fortunately, whilst modern life may not be the one we evolved to live, we do have one very significant advantage over our prehistoric ancestors, knowledge. And research is now showing us that fasting boasts a plethora of health benefits that may help us mitigate some of the many pitfalls of our modern day lifestyle. Today's been uh, pretty good. I've actually been really productive. One thing you notice when you're not constantly preparing and eating food is you actually save like a bunch of time. The, the funny thing is I found myself thinking to myself like, oh, I'm kind of hungry. I should go, go like get a snack or something, you know, just kind of turn away and like, hmm, yeah. and then it just occurs to me like, 
probably going to be my last poo for a while. It is 10 o'clock. Feeling a little bit kind of weak and tired and whatnot. It's kind of to be expected, I suppose. It's 11.30, so that's a wrap on day one. One down, two to go. Good morning. How are we all this morning? I'm all right. Got to sleep all right last night, actually. But I only slept for like three and a half hours before I woke up and then had that just, just that feeling of needing to eat. Not like I was hungry, just to satisfy my body, you know, in that sense where you're feeling really just kind of starved and like hungry and, and uh, anxious and heart is beating really fast. So stuff like that. Hopefully I can still be pretty productive even though I feel kind of trash. So I still turn the shower cold because I feel like you can't be beaten, you know? If I let this fast stop me from doing the shit that I'm trying to do, then the fast is one. Is that on? Yeah. Alrighty, it's 12.30. I've been doing some work, but it's been a struggle. I've just been zoning out continuously. Like, I've just realized that I've spent the last five minutes just staring into oblivion. I'm gonna chuck this down to sitting desk because standing up is just pretty tough at the moment. Discipline is defined as the practice of training people to obey rules or a code of behavior using punishment to correct disobedience. But that's not how I think of it. I think of it as the ability to resist. To resist short-term gratification and guilty pleasures. In the digital age, everything is at our fingertips and we've become soft. Discipline is more important now than it's ever been. In a world where all possibilities are open to us, we must set our own parameters and be the masters of our own will. And you develop the discipline. Discipline equals freedom. The freedom to focus on what matters, ignore distractions and stride forward. Discipline is a muscle, which in less worked will atrophy and waste away. So what better way to test it than to cook the week's food on an empty stomach? I'm here at the store. So the plan is I'm gonna get, buy all the food that I need to eat over the next week and then cook it up while I'm fasted, walking through aisles and aisles of food. So many infinite possibilities, you know, really test the limits of my discipline.
Chopping is done. Wasn't that bad, in all honesty. One thing I found that was interesting is I thought that like being around people in public, I'd be really agitated and really snappy and stuff. If anything, it was the opposite. It was like I had more appreciation for the struggle. What is it? Oh. It is 4.30, I just had a nap. Feeling pretty good, just a little zapped. It's probably the best way to describe it. Isn't the uh, kind of energy ready. Um, and now it's time for what will no doubt be the hardest part of the fast so far, which is cooking. You know, like when you're cooking, you just you grab a bit of whatever you're cooking and like taste it. And I went to like scoop it up, and, and I was like, hang on a sec, like what the fuck am I doing? I can't be, I can't be eating. I can't be eating. My uh, my hungriness and my energy and everything has all converged at the wrong time. It's much harder than I thought it would be. Could eat. Definitely could eat. My stomach feels like a vacuum, like the sides are closing in, about to touch, like a black hole. And the food smells good. I don't know if I can do this anymore, man. So last night I was cooking up my food and I nearly broke but I pushed through. I was trying to sort of test my discipline if you will and that certainly was a test. I actually slept really well last night. Probably all you're hearing is birds right now, <laughs> fucking hell. Kind of feel like it could be the first day of the fast, you know. Ready to attack the day. Yo, I've just had a cold shower and I feel fucking fantastic, actually, which is strange. But I feel better than I would on a normal day right now. It's kind of a spiritual experience really because this great character arc journey that you go through will just reach that point where you're like, I can't go on. And then you push through and I mean, I shouldn't speak too soon. There's still a full day left to go. So anything could happen, but so far, so good. Boys, boys. Me and the boys, when we get a package, this is my new phone. If you've been seeing this one, this is an old cracked piece of shit. It's definitely important to do stuff like this from time to time. Oh, there it is. I think we get too used to our way of life and the kind of comforts. Going through that hardship makes you appreciate the times when you do have things. 
It's 4.30 in the afternoon. I've just finished doing some voiceover stuff. So about to head to the gym. I feel like a gym session is in order. Fasting has long been a tool for personal growth and has been adopted by numerous religions ranging from Christianity to Islam. Although to me, the most interesting example comes from the secular philosophy of Stoicism. 2,300 years ago, Sino of Cyprus was a wealthy and respected merchant, but lost all his worldly possessions when shipwrecked in ancient Greece. He originated a school of philosophy that focused on development of the self and offered pragmatic tools to help navigate the many hardships of life. Stoicism suggests that in times of stress and conjuncture, rather than consoling oneself by deludedly imagining that everything will be okay, one should embrace the likelihood that things very well may turn out for the worst. One may lose their job, their security, their money, but they shall cope. If I were to lose my job, I would work tirelessly to find a new one. If I cannot afford to eat, I will fast until I can. The Stoics advocate for periods of deliberate discomfort and material deprivation. To prove to yourself you don't need such things to live a happy and fulfilled life. Giving one a greater sense of appreciation and the inner confidence to tackle life's problems head on. So that time lapse you just saw was taken from the roof. It's 11 o'clock. It's officially been three days, probably been the three most productive days that I've had all month. And you get this kind of weird sense of tranquil concentration after a while of fasting too. I'll see you in the morning and I'm gonna eat some flopping food. Yo, day four. You know what that means. I have 20 minutes to decide what it is I'm gonna eat to break my fast. 84 hours coming up. I don't know, what else is there to say? Not much. I found this in the freezer the other night. That probably looks fucking disgusting to anyone at home. But after three days, that shit looks pretty good. So, should you do a three day fast? No, there are definitely dangers to this that I haven't discussed. So it's not for everyone. If you're interested, I recommend checking out some of the resources linked below and also experimenting with intermittent fasting or fasting for shorter periods of time before you launch into something longer like this. Having said that, there is something extremely empowering about cutting your addiction to food and proving to yourself that you don't need food all the time. Food doesn't kind of rule your life. That was a real revelation for me when, when I <coughs> discovered that. Discipline is something that you have to train on a regular basis, whether that be cold showers or fasting, etc. It also just shows you that you're capable of more than you think you are capable of. And pushing through and getting to the other side just gives you a real sense of confidence and that you have the ability to do that. Most of all, what I learned is that while food is amazing, certainly not gonna stop eating food anytime soon. At the end of the day, all I really need to be happy is me.